Hey guys, we got the biggest and best grow light from HLG. It's their HLG Scorpion Diablo, and it's got their new quantum boards with their highest efficiency LEDs, the highest density on them. And it's gonna be very interesting to see how well this fixture does, how much is it, how much better is it than the previous version of this light? And does it get to beat the chilled Growcraft Ultra, which is my previous best result? So let's see. First of all, as I said, it's a 660 watt light and large in form. It's almost four foot by four foot in uh, length by width. And uh, this means it's totally suitable for a five by five grow area. The LEDs, as I said, are packed onto this light on the quantum boards. The LEDs themselves are Samsung um, 5K whites, so cool whites with um, 660 nanometer reds. The, uh, I checked the spectrum and tested it. You can see here it's got quite a large amount of blue in the spectrum with that cool white, which means it's going to be very good for delivering short, dense growth. That's what a high proportion of blue will do. It's also um, got that red spike at 660 nanometers. Overall, it delivers a color temperature of about 4,700 Kelvin, which is, as I said, perfectly suitable for growing all the way from seed to harvest. I dropped it into its specified area for flowering, which is a five foot by five foot area with silver mylar walls. And I adjusted it to its optimum hanging height, which is, uh, from HLG's manual, which is 18 inches or 45 centimeters above the test um, meter. I found that to be perfect and that it's just tipping over the 1000 micromoles per meter square per second in the highest point measurements around the center. And that's really optimizing it, trying to bring it down as low as possible to maximize the amount of light reaching the grow and not bouncing around and being lost without getting a hot spot, basically a really high intensity spots in the center. So I found the the um, setup instructions to be perfect. I then got out my spot on quantum sensor and took uh, a 10 columns of 10 rows, so 100 um, power measurements on, in total across the test area, simulated plant canopy. And as you can see, delivered a very good spread. Average power was 792 micromoles per meter square per second, which is a really high performance level and at 660 watts consumed, delivered a system efficiency of 2.7 micromoles per watt, which is extremely impressive. It's the highest of any fixtures that I've tested so far. It beats the previous um, version of this light, which I tested at 2.6, and the previous best test result, which was the chilled Growcraft uh, Ultra, which uh, dollar per watt is nearly twice as expensive as this light. So this is a really, really impressive high performance fixture. As always with HLG, it's fairly basic in construction. They put all their focus into the highest quality of components. So it's packed full of LEDs, um, highest quality driver with dimming on board um, and comes fully assembled. Very simple to hang. Just clip on the hangers and, and raise it up and switch it on. That's all there is to it. So really easy to, uh, to handle and manage. I'm delighted HLG sent me through their newest light. This high performance one's great to see it. Great to see the performance getting pushed and particularly uh, at this value for money, which is very good for this performance. So congratulations to HLG. And uh, yeah, looking forward to your comments and uh, queries about this light. Please leave them below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Take care.